Hey everybody, and welcome back to Storytime with JRP. We're continuing our book, Lawrence Gray, Secret of the Lost Renault Colony, and we're currently in Chapter 22. This is the fourth week of my reading this series, but if you're just joining us, head back to Chapter 1 so you don't miss any crucial details. So, a quick recap of Chapter 21. Lawrence Gray and his son Jason are the only ones that can access a secret alien website. They find it, and it gives them a clue that they should head to their nation's capital. And so they head to Washington, D.C., and they don't find anything. But then Jason realizes that the aliens were referring to the original capital of the United States, which was in Philadelphia. So that's where they're going to head next in Chapter 22, titled On the Route to Philadelphia. <sighs> The flight, to, the flight to Washington had kept Gray distracted enough not to think about reality, but this flight to Philadelphia gave Lawrence a chance to think. What were they getting into? Just a month ago, Gray had a decent life, a kid, a job. For the most part, he felt like he had it pretty good. But now, they were under the power of the FBI. In one month, they flew across the country to Nevada, then to Washington, D.C., and now to Philadelphia. Would this be the extent of the rest of Gray's life? Traveling from one place to place? Looking for a colony that probably didn't even exist? That's certainly not a life that he would want to live out. He may be a police officer, but he was no detective. And what about his son and best friend? Would they have to live through this misery too? Just thinking about his only son having to be a slave to the government got Gray feeling angry. And bold. Bold enough to say something to General Sheldon. Five star General Sheldon. Gray got out of his seat of the plane and walked towards the front, where Sheldon and his bodyguards were sitting. Excuse me? He roughly shed the Sheldon. Sheldon turned around in his seat. Yes, what is it, boy? That just fueled Gray's anger. I'm no boy, Sheldon. I'm 35. I'm tired of being treated as your slave. I'm a member of the United States, and I have my rights. You have no rights to hold us. Oh, you have no right to hold us here. Sheldon suddenly stood up looking bulkier and taller than ever. He pulled out a badge. You see this? This is my do what I want and get away with it badge. I can do what I want, when I want, for whatever reason, as long as I'm not breaking the law. From now on, you are now property of the United States to be used at our discretion. Besides, you wouldn't want anything to happen to your friend or your son. Guards near Jason and Jack pointed their AKs at them. No, shouted Gray. Don't hurt them. Sheldon smiled evilly. I thought not. That better be the last to hear from you, Gray, for your own sake. Sheldon sat back down, and his two bodyguards took Gray back to his chair. The uprising was over, for now. All right, that's the end of chapter 22. So Gray and the gang are still on the way to Philadelphia. Who knows what they'll find when they get there, guys. All right, well, I'll see you tomorrow.